Hey everyone, my name is Tegan. Welcome back to Sandy Writes. This lighting is terrible, but we're going to roll with it. Today, we have a very exciting package. We're back with one of these. I should stop buying these because um, shipping to the UK is the same amount as the box itself. However, this is the um, Scorpio Races 10 year anniversary like collector's limited edition box thing. And the Scorpio Races is my favourite Maggie's to Bottle book, so it like owns my entire soul. So we're gonna unbox this today. Okay, I see I see things, I see things straight away. The box is going there. So the first thing I see is this little box, this little box, this little card that has everything that's inside. So I'm gonna keep this in front of me for reference. No, it's got a cute little stable thing. What is this? Hold on, let's read what's actually on the card. This... This is the Malvin Stables Blanket Scarf. Okay, okay, who's this by? This is designed by Team Outbreak. It's got a funny smell. <laughs> is it a that, that is a... No, that's a hood. Oh, it's like a poncho. <laughs> This is very cozy. I like this. And the tag is down here. It's um, it's this blanket scarf, but this is a poncho. This is a poncho. <laughs> this is very cute. This is very fun. This is, I think, fits very well with the theme of the book and the November vibes. The next thing I see is this is, look how cute this little packaging is. This is a berry mint tea made by Riddle's Tea Shop. The collectible tin is designed to fit right on the shelves of Babylon and Sons. Oh, this smells wonderful. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really a tea person, I think. I think some other box I had had tea in, it might have been the the Greek one that had law in. Like, I'm not a tea person, but this is a very cute thing. I mean, I'll give the tea to someone else and I will just keep this tub for myself. $7.99? Oh, I have, ha I have no idea how much tea costs. Like, is, that, is that a rip off? Is that a bargain? But it's a very cute tub, that's all that matters to me. We have a double-sided wooden bookmark. So we have a little from the sea to the sea, and this side says, the ocean knows your name. That took me a minute to read. This is very cute. I have the wooden bookmark. I don't know if these come in every box. I got one in the like Gr Greek mythology box, Law, which has a Song of Achilles quote on it, and it's um, my favorite bookmark. Every time it says wooden bookmark, I think it to be like a thick wooden thing, not like a very papery thin one. So like, who's this by? Who's this by? Artist Lady Chubb Letters and Kim Beck Design. So yes, this is very cute. I love this. I will, this will be exclusively for rereading the book. <laughs> like my Achilles one is exclusively for Achilles. We have a pin. Okay, I, this is only my second Alcrate box. So I'm starting to work out, okay, I think they all have a bookmark in and I think they all have a pin in. This pin is by, where's it gone? What's it gone? Scorpio Races participant pin from Iron and Ink Designs. This is very cute. You can't quite. Oh, you can kind of see it there. You can kind of see it there. This is like the, the souvenir for the riders and the races, and that is so cute. I do love that. This is Scorpio. <laughs> I'm cringing too loud. This is Scorpio Races Rider, Thisbe Island. That's very cute. I do love this. I love pins so much. I think so far, because this is a box specifically catered to the book. I like it a lot because I love the book, so I will love anything to do with the book. Whereas the only book I've had before, which was a Greek mythology one, there are a couple more. Well, it had Law and it had Achilles. It was a very safe box for me, but I can understand that if I had boxes from just other boxes in general, maybe they wouldn't fully cater to my interests, as there'll be obviously some fandoms I don't know about in there. So overall, this book, this book, this box, incredible, love it, show stopping. Okay, I see three things left in the box. The candle, I think there's a poster, and there's the book. I'm gonna save the book for last. Next we'll go to the candle, because my favourite candle's almost dead, so like the new one's obviously needed. This is traditional November cakes, Parsons Bakery. Scarmouth, this bee, Nissy Le Bon says. Okay, that's burning instructions. I want to know what is the scent of this candle? Oh, it's got a wooden wick. It's 
So this is by Lycan Limestone, Woodwick Handle inspired by Honey Glazed November Cakes. Okay, I kind of smell it. This is a scent, um, it's not for me. I'm a very like fruity sweet person. So this isn't quite for me, but I do think it's adorable and I might just send it on to one of my friends. <laughs> we have a post. Oh, let's read the card. Silver Designs creates a faux vintage style travel poster that captures the irresistible wonderlust that this be conjures within us. Oh, oh it's like a little, it's a little poster. Oh, it's one like this. Okay, okay. I have a soft spot for these posters because as a company that makes them for like locations near where I live, like touristy locations. So this, this I love. I love blue. I love, you can, like, you can see the little horses running along. This is so cute because it hits a certain amount of nostalgia that I have as Thisbe is obviously a tourist location, as well as a little small town. So um, my little small town is also a tourist location, so this is very cute. I mean, it is very, it is very tiny, but I understand it has to fit in this box. I would I would probably buy this anyway on my own with my... I bought this with my own money, but like, I would probably buy something like this outside of the box. Just bigger, huge, huge. And finally, we have the most important thing, the book. This is my favourite book. I'm going to crack this open because I know it has reversible jacket arts that has Maggie's painting or drawing on it. And there is a new chapter, well not a new chapter, there's a chapter that was previously only available online through Finn's perspective and I think there's also a little letter in the front from Maggie. So we're going to have a peek. I also don't have the words to describe how much I love this book because obviously this, oh I dropped the card. This quote is so raw, it's so good. I just, I just look at because it's cute. Okay, okay. Let's let's really take it off. Okay, so we've got blue and we've got shiny. And it's shiny it's shiny from all angles. Oh, this is this is very pretty. This is very pretty. There, you can see this shine very nicely there. I would also probably have this in bookmark form or poster form. And then we have the jacket art. The jacket art. The jacket art. It's very blue, so obviously I love it. Also, I do love Maggie's art style rig and how like, colourful and beautiful it is, like there. That's very fun. We do have it signed. We do. I'm just, I know it says signed, but I always got to double check. We have it signed. Then we have this little new intro chapter, which I think she's posted on social media already. So if you'd like to read that, that is, that is there. And I don't know where in the book this new chapter is. <laughs> they they just put the new chapter in at the end rather than um chapter sixty six. So sixty eight chapters in total. This is chapter twenty nine, so this comes somewhere in the middle. Um I like that it's here for easy access to read, however I probably would have liked it in in the correct position just so I can read it. Because otherwise I'm gonna be reading it, I'm gonna forget about this chapter, I'll come back to it at the end and it'll ruin the flow of the story, you know? How easy is it to reverse the jacket. I feel so bad folding this book. Okay, let's fold the edges. That is very cute. Okay, so overall, oh, there's a horse in the back. There's a very like hidden blue horse. You can kind of see it there. Overall, I love this box, but I think I love it because I love the book. However, this box was just aimed as like a collector's edition thing. So no complaints, no complaints. I do love this box. I was going to keep saying I love it more than my last box. However, of course I would, because this is themed around my favourite book. Where's... I've had the candle back. Hold on, let's have the bookmark back. Like, look, look, look. I keep forgetting I'm wearing this. It's really comfy. But yeah, this book, this book. This box for me would be a solid five out of five because I love this book. And that's it. I really need to learn how to do a good unboxing. That I don't watch a huge amount. Like I know you show off what's in here. I give my opinions, but my opinions is um, I'm very specific over candle scents. I don't like tea. I, I love posters and pins and bookmarks, and I love books. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If I was going to say if you've had this box, let me know. What's your favourite thing in there? But even if you haven't had this box, let me know. What's your favourite thing in it? Like, are you also like very specific over candle scents? Do you also, are you also a terrible British person who doesn't like tea? Let me know. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.